The push towards electric planes is the future for aviation. The goal is to lower emissions from the planes. With air being the most common means of travel for millions of passengers annually, the change can make a positive impact on the environment. About 2% of the carbon emissions released annually comes from airplanes. The goal is to reduce it because it is predicted to go up as more people travel by air in the future. When we think about aviation, we tend to focus our attention on the consumers flying for fun or for work. However, there is another sector that needs to be addressed. The volume of planes moving packages and goods from one location to the next is a big part of worldwide commerce. As the number of people buying goods online continues to grow, this type of aviation will only increase. Consumers want the convenience and they also want those purchases delivered quickly. Experimenting with short flights. There are some airlines with electric planes and they are using them to experiment with. They are recording data to find out how much the improvement is when it comes to emissions with this switch. The experiments are being conducted with the short flights as the technology available at this time it can only be used for short distances. As technology improves and new concepts are implemented, it is believed that electric planes will be a viable solution for longer routes. None of the passenger planes have been approved for electric planes just yet. There are various challenges that must be addressed before such flights would be approved by the Federal Aviation Administration. One of them is the battery life for electric planes. While efforts to reduce emissions are encouraged, the FAA is concerned with the overall safety above everything else. An analysis for best practices and regulations will have to be drafted and then approved. This is a time-consuming process but there is plenty in motion behind the scenes regarding it. This will all pave the way for electric planes to become the future of aviation at some point. The prediction is more short routes will be using electric planes within the next five years. This is going to reduce emissions. While it doesn't completely resolve the issue, it is a positive move forward. When you consider the number of flights averaging 100 miles or less and their frequency, it will have an impact on emissions more than most people realize. Battery issues. Creating a battery for electric planes to keep a charge for long distances had to be done for this to work. Jet fuel is dense, but that isn't the case with batteries by any means. Keeping the weight down is important for any airplane. There is also the issue of how much space the batteries will take on an aircraft. The design will need to allow plenty of power to be put into a small package. The battery life will need to hold plenty of charge for an extended period of time, yet it won't be able to weigh much or take up lots of space. The batteries available now aren't able to do this successfully, but that shouldn't be discouraging. They have come a long way and there are still ideas for improvements being explored and tested. Slow down global warming. Many support groups push for electric planes as a way to slow down global warming. They have concerns about the environment and the impact of such negative emissions going into the environment. They have concerns about the habitat for many animals being reduced or destroyed due to global warming. It all has a trickle down effect. The government is also on board with electric planes as a way to help reduce problems with carbon emissions. The guidelines will continue to get stricter as new resources are available. Many airlines plan to make the change voluntarily as they want to appease both customers and the government. However, some of the companies may be forced to go this route to comply with regulations. Airline representatives say that they feel pressure all around them to find ways to get electric planes in use. They are shamed due to the amount of fuel they use and the amount of carbon they release. They are shamed due to the volume of flight they schedule to accommodate the needs of the wants of consumers. Cost involved. While consumers push for reduced emissions, the high cost of creating electric planes and getting them in use creates some additional concerns. Are consumers willing to pay more for their goods because of the increased overhead? Are they going to complain about the cost of a seat on a commercial airplane increasing to use electric planes? The airlines offer a service which is needed and appreciated. It is fast, convenient and easy, but they also have to make a profit. They can't be forced into going with electric planes and losing money because of it. They have to find ways to cover those costs and a great deal of it will be pushed onto the consumer. There may be some government incentives to help them cover the costs, but it won't be enough to cover all of it. Some airlines only operate in particular countries. Others offer international flights. Such details can play a role in what assistance they would receive from the government. It would also influence regulations relating to the electric planes. The FAA only covers those operating from the United States. Moving in the right direction. The use of electric planes is the future of aviation. 
but the path to get there isn't a straight line. There is plenty to be done to verify the best options, to create batteries, to remain safe, and to evaluate how much improvement it will make. The steps in place now by both the government and airlines are moving this goal in the right direction. It will be exciting to see how it all unfolds and changes the industry for the better.